paper you find that we have uh, books that can tell uh, the step uh, by step uh, living of the Christ. Definitely. Historical books much ancient than the Bible that King James want to deceive the old world. Painting the image of Christ, you know, from black to white for them to continue with their spiritual slavery. I am intrigued by their references to certain aspects of Christianity and then their radical departure from the fundamentals of the faith almost in the same breath. Yeah, some people, uh, they're, 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 there is some sort of confusion when it comes to the Rasta community and also <clears throat> their belief uh, in, in Christ and uh, the Emperor Silas. Perhaps if you can try and expound on that, or who is Emperor Silasi to the uh, in the life of a Rasta man? Yeah, so glory to word, glory to sound, glory to power, glory to the Emperor said the first. Uh, His Majesty, Emperor Aile Silasi the first, is the second coming of Christ, who is the Messiah. For we black people have been through great tribulation and persecution. I'm talking about 400 years of slavery and 100 years of colonization. This is the captivity of Judah and Israel. In 1920, Marcus Garvey, who was an author and orator, wrote a play and in it prophesied the crowning of Haile Selassie. The coronation of Haile Selassie took place 10 years later. Prophet Marcus Garvey comes and he say the year, the time of dispensation is over. This is the time whereby black man look to the east for the coming of the black king. And when he's crowned, no time of redemption is at hand. And they quoting scriptures, they say complement their arguments. And this is fulfillment of the book of Revelation which clearly states, uh, states that I hold when the first seal is burst and the rider on the white horse comes out, you know, with him sharp sword out of his mouth that was two-edged, double-edged sword out of his mouth. And he had the crown on his head and uh, on his thighs was the name written kings of kings and lord of lords conquering lion from the tribe of judah and with him has the iron rod that with it he should rule all the world and execute judgment and partially so when i and i sight up this this is fulfillment that christ indeed has returned in his kingly character to redeem mankind from the years of great tribulation. His works have proved him worthy to sit upon the throne. And look at the titles that he is given. Haile Selassie the first. Haile meaning power, Selassie meaning trinity. So he is the power of the whole trinity. And this is the light that has shone in the world in this time. The Naya Bingi insists that there is no point of mankind waiting for the second coming of Christ Jesus since the Emperor himself sealed the second coming and is already seated on the throne. So now Christ is about the Father and I'm about the Father. I'm about the Father, 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 I'm about the Father. I'm about the Father. Atakuja kwa mawingu venye sayi watu unangoja atiasa atakuja kwa mawingu wa mabefia unanjua. Mm. Atakuja na atakuja sakulu. And by the virtue of being a generation living in the new millennium, they confess that no form of event shake their stance on the emperor. This is the generation that seeks the face of the almighty. Hatutaki tena kuambiwa ati hey, ako uko, ako uko, no. Tuna sight, he is the almighty. Ndiyo tunaweza kumuona unanjua. They disagree with claims by scholars and historians that Haile Selassie was mortal and he passed on after the end of his reign in 1974. The Naya Bingi instead believe that the emperor who is the almighty liveth forever with his presence manifesting through various men and women. Presence the almighty, 
Il y a deux ou trois arcades. Already à quoi? Maybe physically, can all man do is more than but I am not in a feel that is present all the time. Because of your righteousness, I will prevail. Your peace, your understanding, your harmony within the brethren and sisters. I will see you up, come on, mighty man. If man shall know himself spiritually, then he shall move out of the 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 desolation that he is currently in. So let the world know that David's throne still exists. And in this time, it is the emperor, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, who sit upon it. And no one else is coming to sit upon the throne of the emperor of Ethiopia. Having gotten enough of that, it was our time to say goodbye after a day-long Sabbath service. Yeah, Rasta, we give... Yeah, man, and we also appreciate the fact that you've welcomed us and we've shared the Sabbath together. And we look forward to also engaging in you, with you any other time. Rastafari, I love man. Thanks a lot. Now, the Haile Selassie Foundation is just next to the world here in Kibera, but it is hard to believe that business at this centre remained uninterrupted, even as the country was hit by the 2007-2008 post-war chaos, a clear indication of the high level of respect accorded to this foundation and the Rastafari community therein. In the second edition of Untold Stories next Sunday. Is there a way that the holy herb, the ganja, the marijuana should be taken? Yes. I and I use of herb, unajua is natural and we don't deny it. Unajua even if unajua who are us, I and I, we are ready even to stand for it. Why am I a Rasta man? Many people ask I, many people tell I. Why am I a Rasta man? It's because of the Babylon and the situation. <laughs> <laughs>